Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So hello guys welcome to my channel so this is very important video for especially windows user because if you want to upgrade your operating system to windows 11 you need to be have a compatible uh, desktop that can support windows 11 and the tpm support the tpm is trusted uh, module which uh, gives you nice encryption a capability when you have some problem with your hard drive and you can encrypt it and make it lock so that hackers cannot hack it and give all of your information so windows 11 gives us a nice security feature which is tpm but the problem is if your pc does not support the tpm chip if you don't have this tpm chip on your uh, computer uh, especially if you having a lower grade or old uh, desktop that you can don't have the uh, tpm chip so because of that you cannot run windows 11 properly so what's the problem is that as you can see the message when you uh, install the application from the windows 11 official website the pc checker application this says this pc can't run windows 11 and let me show you the app which is this one uh, pc checker you can search pc health checker application when you click on that okay as you can see this is the application that checks you can check it and it will say so it says if this pc cannot run windows 11 because the only problem is you don't have the tpm support so we need to enable it in the bios so if you go to the tpm dot msc tpm dot msc compatible tpm cannot be found because it already have in your motherboard if your uh, computer is intel based 8th generation uh, 9th generation and 10th generation then you must have that especially when your uh, pro processor and motherboard little bit old like 3rd gen 4th gen then you have the problem if you have at least 6th generation intel i3 i6 uh, i5 uh, I and i7 based processor then you don't have any problem with the tpm chip it is already included on the modern chipset now let's go jump into the bios and see how we can do that for the amd platform you can go to the bios and load me let me show you the uh, screenshot uh, because i don't have amd based pc so that i cannot show you the bios setting but in the amd you will go to the advanced in the bios setting and go to amd ftpm configuration which is actually the tpm for amd okay you enable that and then you can run windows 11 if your processor is supported okay make sure you have at least ryzen based processor for the amd so that you can get the full support so as i'm using the 11 gen motherboard b560m so it is definitely a tpm certified and it has a tpm chipset on it and i need to enable it in my bios so go and restart your computer and i'm just restarting it and i will show you every setting that you need asus b560 pro m which is 11 gen based processor okay chipset i'm clicking on f2 okay just this is the my f2 as you can see and it will go to the boot menu and as you can see this is the kind of interface that you see especially the uafi bios utility easy mode is just normal b560 uh, mk motherboard and in this motherboard which is obviously 11 gen and for that you need to go to this advanced mode and in many motherboard you will find this advanced mode as well and after that you have to go to the advanced setting here and after you go to the advanced setting you have pch fw configuration so in the bios go to advanced and go to PCF FW configuration as you can see now you can have your TPM device selection and it has two options one is discrete TPM and one is firmware TPM which is giving you more security for the encryption when you have some problem with it so Microsoft really did well with Windows 11 to give you the enable firmware TPM just enable it from the first it will be in discrete then just enable it to firmware and it will give you a pop-up the intel pdt which is trusted technology for intel for the amd it is ftpm okay and i have the uh, tpm2 installed on my uh, motherboard and my cpu as well so i i can go click okay just pardon me because my phone is not that good and it will be enabled okay after you enable it it will look like enable firmware tpm so i enable the firmware tpm and go to exit and you will exit save changes and reset okay and click on save changes and press on okay now when you want to uh, restart it so let's check it out and you just need to uh, write windows r and write tpm.msc okay 
and click on ok as you can see after we enable it it, it is having a status tpm is ready for use and the version and this version is 2 and as you can see everything is enabled so it says the windows computer containing a trusted platform module which is tpm provided enhanced security feature this is actually the security feature for windows 11 and this snap in displays information about the computer's tpm and allow administrator to manage the device which is really good feature so that is the thing that is why you need to enable it in the boot menu okay so that you can get this nice information which is tpm management on your local computer you must have to enable it after that you can go to the pc checker application pc health checker application and for that you need to download it first and just check it from the official uh, microsoft website let me show you how we can download it and you can go to the microsoft windows 11 and upgrade to the new windows here you can see if your pc meets the minimum requirement okay now if you go to the lower here as you can see this is the place where you can see the minimum requirement one gigahertz processor or two or two core processor the processor must be 64 bit 4 gb of ram 64 gb of large storage device and ufi and secure boot capable and the most importantly is trusted platform module tpm version 2 should be enabled in your motherboard uh, bios okay if you don't do that you cannot have this and make sure your processor is processor motherboard is later generation like after 2017 18 and 19 and uh, up to 2021 because the old generation don't support that and you must have a graphics card of uh, directx 12 supported and you have to have a microsoft account and internet connectivity required for windows 11 home so this is the minimum requirement you can see everything from the official website and the most importantly just download this app okay uh, for the compatibility and this app is actually after you download that just cancel it because i already have it you can have this application and check it and as you can see now perfect this pc can run windows 11 so after i enable the tpm it can say this pc can run windows 11 okay so when you have the update rollout you can get the update so that's all for it guys i hope you like the video and thumbs up if you like it i hope it is a very important video for you all so share it as much and as much as possible so a lot of people can get help so thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video